Also now at 11, police are looking for the shooter who killed a man right in front of his granddaughter. The grandfather was trying to protect her during a home burglary. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister spoke to witnesses. She joins us from the scene in Little Havana. You see the black smudge on this door here. This is what detectives were using to collect fingerprints after this fatal shooting. The confrontation happened inside of this apartment. The burglar shot the grandfather and then took off. The victim ended up at the bottom of the staircase bleeding as his granddaughter watched everything. Thursday night, police and crime scene investigators swarmed an apartment building on Southwest 4th Street. The building directly behind it is where a burglary turned murder happened hours before. With a broom and a hose, neighbors washed blood off the bottom of the staircase of this apartment complex on Southwest 5th Street. I walked out and I see a man laying on the ground. Um, afterwards, I, I just like I panicked. They, we called 911 and we see the man that shot him running. According to police, a girl was home alone at this apartment complex when a man broke in around 8 o'clock Thursday morning. Police say that girl called her mom, who then called the child's grandfather. He lives nearby and came over to help. The grandfather ended up confronting the burglar inside of the apartment. Police say they got into a scuffle, and that's when the suspect opened fire and took off. I heard the girl across the street screaming for help uh, rapidly. So I hung up the phone really quick. I run across the street, and then right over by the staircase there, uh, I guess with your grandfather, was shot in the stomach a couple times. He was on his back. Uh, not moving and bleeding. I saw the granddaughter. She was devastated. Despite efforts from first responders, the grandfather, described by police as a man in his 60s, died. Neighbors tell us the girl is about 12 years old. It's very scary. For hours, police scoured the apartment complex for clues, dusting for fingerprints and leaving with bags of evidence. City of Miami police confirmed that there is an investigation happening on the next street over, but have not said if the two investigations are related. Witnesses say that the suspect was wearing a ski mask, shorts, a short sleeve shirt, and flip flops at the time of the murder. The identity of the victim has not yet been released. And police are asking anyone who knows anything about what happened here to come forward. Remember, you can remain anonymous. But for now, reporting from Little Havana, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami.